to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, the, the cause of death of Coolio was released. Did you see this today? I'm sorry. Coolio's dead? Yeah, it happened, happened a while ago. Oh, rest in peace, Last Coolio. Last September. Oh, yeah, bet. Rest um, in peace, Coolio. He, he was at a friend's house, went to the bathroom, and fell over and died. That's not a cause of death. No, but they uh, they released what actually happened. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say that's the cause of death. No, no, no. It ain't, it ain't the cause of death. Nope, he okay. died uh, from the effects of fentanyl, heroin, and methamphetamine. Uh, damn. You can't mix uppers and downers, man. He was on that goddamn goddamn. He was on fentanyl, which is a downer, heroin, which is a downer, and then meth. Why are you doing all three? It was you probably... can't mix uppers and downers. I mean, but it evens out, right? No, no. So he just felt sober. <laughs> He's like, "God damn, guys, I'm sober. I'm gonna go take a piss." And then dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. That was that was quite the uh, the speedball. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know what that was about. Oh, it says at the time of death. He was suffering from heart disease and asthma, and he had u- recently still had traces of PCP in his system. Yee. So homeboy's out here 59. Just he, living the life. He's doing heroin, meth, and fentanyl, and had recently done PCP. Wow. He's 59. I've never done any of those things, and I'm not anywhere near 59. Man, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, Jonas. I think a lot of these rich people do a lot of drugs. Yeah, because they don't find any joy in anything else because they have infinite money and can do whatever they want. I mean, I, you know, I would say, is yeah, the infinite money thing is more like, more a part of it than anything else. Yeah. And when you go to places where the people are just, like, throwing around uh, the white girl. I'm sorry. The white, like, it's like. <laughs> I was like, wait, what kind of party are you going to? <laughs> that's what they the call. white pony? Yeah, exactly. Same thing. We're going to toss that candy? around like a. Uh, like, <laughs> It was an, so if you go to a party and there's like a pile of like a like a pound of sugar on the counter, but it's but exactly. it's booger sugar, and you're just like but help yourself, sugar, help help hey. yourself to whatever you want. Exactly, and I wouldn't people, do it. A bunch of times people are doing it, and then eventually you're like, oh, or I'll do a bump, and then it, that bump turns into a line, that line turns into a full blown habit. You got the money to keep it up. I'll just keep a little bit in the house. Here, take this one with you. You know, one of those. Man, I don't think I'd ever do it. I feel like I probably wouldn't either. And I'm sure there's people who don't. I feel like certain celebrities, you can probably tell they are. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks does coke. <laughs> Tom Hanks. I'm telling you, right. I'm saying it right now. Tom Hanks does coke. Okay. 100%. <laughs> Taylor Swift does coke. Oh, I can see that. Beyonce does coke. Oh. Who else? Louis C.K. Definitely, definitely does coke. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Name a celebrity who doesn't do coke. Will Smith. Get the fuck! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Do you see his life? I want to do coke thinking about it. I don't even, I've never done it. I uh, I just wanted to throw his name out there. Uh, definitely. I want to keep his name in my mouth. Seriously, can you think of one celebrity who you can say for sure does not do coke? Um, hmm. Who can you think Somebody, of? Somebody, like, I would say Robert Downey Jr. because he's clean now. But he used okay. to do lots of coke. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, but he has a coke look to him. Yeah, he used to do it. He <laughs> got in trouble in the 80s, so he cleaned up. Um, You know who? Let me see. Uh, I bet you that... Hmm. I can't you know even, Pete Davidson's out here doing it. Oh my god, he looks like he looks like the guy you would buy coke off of. Yeah, he probably does have. It. He's the guy with the with the sugar on the counter. You go to Pete Davidson's <laughs> yeah. house, and he's just he's he's he, everyone's like he's up in his room. Yeah. All the girls are coming up to see him, and on the counter downstairs, there's just like a big old big old pile of sand, but it's not sand. <laughs> he probably does throw a good party though. I'm yeah, not I mean, I would. Do you think I would... he helicopters at his parties? Um, I mean, I'm probably, I mean, he's in bed with Lauren Michaels, not literally. But I mean, probably know, like they're good friends. Yeah. Um, uh, who doesn't, who wait, somebody, yeah, somebody out there, dude, brother, I can't think of I, John legend. <laughs> Maybe. I can change. I mean, I don't know, dude. That sounds like some some candy some, some candy music. My <laughs> he son. probably does too. It's, uh, it's hard, man. It really is. There's somebody out there, dude. Hold on. Uh, Miley Cyrus. Oh yes, she looked. Yes, 
She's clean in all aspects. <laughs> she looks like she's never done a drug in her life. <laughs> Your goddamn Macy Gray voice. Oh, Macy Gray. Oh, Macy Gray. Tracy Chapman. Mm. I don't know if I ask. Maybe. Maybe. <coughs> maybe. Maybe, but probably not. Who makes who makes movies that are like Did almost you? lifetime movies, but not on lifetime? Whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're asking. Those are the sort of movies the people that would like. Who makes movies for like Canadians? <laughs> All those movies are been filmed in Canada. Like the Lifetime movies and... No, we, no, okay. The goal of this episode is to f figure out a celebrity that does not do cocaine. I can't think of one, man. I don't think they exist. I swear it doesn't. I don't know, man. Like, somebody's the Kevin, out there. Kevin Sorbo? Kevin Hart? No. You think Kevin Hart's out here I doing think, the blow? I feel like he does. Because, like, to get the energy that he puts on on stage, I feel like he, he definitely... He has to? Yeah, Ooh. the energy that he puts out there, I feel like he has to do a line or two before he goes out. Like, when you look at any, like, Hollywood actors, I think it's just, like, kind of synonymous that they're all, like, a bunch of junkies. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean, like, they're Why don't junkies. you tell me some more stereotypes people are living up to? <laughs> but, I mean, look, honestly, when you look at them, you're like, you can tell. When you look at Brad Pitt... You can. There's no way in your life that you could say that he does not do cocaine. When you look at uh, who's uh, the George Caribbean. Trump. Oh, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. I mean, he might be clean now. He might be clean now, but he looks like he has, you know, tendencies. Exactly, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not judging the person for doing the activity that they do. Honestly, I say Jack legal Black. No, he's too wild. Yeah. But he's also very wholesome. I don't know so about that. He's, it's usually, he's probably the one with, like, a lot of skeletons in his closet. You think? I don't know. He seems like he always did, like, movies that were, like, had a good message and, like, helped kids and what stuff. What about Will Ferrell? No. <laughs> no. No, 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 I feel like a lot of these guys out here, honestly, cocaine, they have to thank cocaine for their careers. Kel. From Keenan and Kale? Keenan. 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 I don't think Keenan doesn't look like he does blow. No, I don't know if I would call him a celebrity either. He's on Saturday Night Live. I'm not. <laughs> People know who he is. They're making Good Burger too. You'd have to go into like like the Christian uh Christian like rock and rap groups or like uh some of those celebrities, I guess. Like if you could, but even if you were like to like name half of the like televangelists, I'd be like, nah, they on something. Kenneth Copeland. Who's brother. the guy who does the Seven Hundred Club? Isn't that Kenneth Copeland? I have no, no idea. I know nothing about. Religion. You know, nothing. You never watched any of the televangelists. I clubs? used to watch uh, the guy who's probably dead now. Ernest Angley in the Healing Line. Oh, I think I've seen that before. Who was the? Cromwell? Is there somebody named Cromwell? Or? Wow, I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, I, was I remember there was definitely uh, Ernest Angley, for those who are uninitiated, was a televangelist that was on Cleveland or Ohio television. And uh, he would have he would have episodes of his show where there would be a line of people, sometimes hundreds of people long, and they would walk up to him, tell them about their ailment or a problem that they were having in their life. And Ernest would, he would touch them and he'd say, healed. And sometimes they'd fall over or sometimes they wouldn't. And they would be cured of whatever there was. I've seen people drop their crutches live on TV and walk around a little bit. Um, Pat Robertson was the guy who did the 700 Club. Pat Robertson. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's also been brought up on some stuff. But, you know, you know and nobody's perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I think, I think. But, but Ernest Angley was the ish man. He could, he could cure you of anything you had, Jonas. Sorry, you not finding a wife. I'm gonna look him up. Healed. Oh my God, he looks creepy as f, dude. Who? Ernest Angley. <laughs> I mean, brother. Oh my lord, <laughs> brother. He, you know, he's a guy. Oh my God, that's the guy. That's the guy. Oh my God, he looks like. He's like, uh, if not. the Crypt Keeper 
wow. had an eating oh, disorder. God. I'll bring him up on the on the channel just for this one time. The, yeah, the very end of the yeah, it's uh. But yeah, he he never was Ernest Angel. He never was a uh, like you know like the model. Oh my looking, god, dude! A model looking guy, but I mean, I'm not that either. one. The one with the fist the, when he has the claw up. <laughs> <laughs> Br bring up the claw, dude. <laughs> Not the claw. Oh my god, dude. Is this the guy? Look at the one next to it, dude. It looks like he was a mafioso. He's just the guy. Oh my god, look at that one where he dyed his hair. He's spreading the word. Either way. Anyways. <laughs> He's just the guy. Uh, you know, you can feel however you want to feel about his Feel good about him. Because he definitely, he made hundreds of thousands, probably millions of dollars. Off, off. Poor year. people's fear. I mean, all right. Anyways, you can faith, be healed. Man. It says faith. Uh, <laughs> that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Uh, we out.